He lied. <laughs> Happy Sunday! It is actually a really beautiful Sunday. There's a nice breeze going on and it feels good. A little cold, but this, at least the sun's out. Uh, we just finished watching The Visit because I didn't want to watch it tonight because Game of Thrones is tonight. Excited. I think I had my expectations too high for that. The Visit. Let me just give you a little rundown. Yeah, it wasn't that good. I mean, it showed it had three stars, I think. And it, it's, it's, I feel like two, maybe one. <laughs> and I remember when M. Night Shyamalan's films, like when they he first started making them and come, um, having them come out, they were, you know, they were great. Like, Signs was awesome. Based on Tether Village was awesome. because Oh, no, that that's one. when it started going downhill, to be honest. With The Visit, I feel like it was more of, like, I was watching a YouTube video. No offense to, like, YouTube or anything. It just felt, like, amateurish. Because it's, like, in the eyes of someone holding the camera. And I actually, I, I, I see why he did that. Because that's where, you know, the majority... Uh, of people are doing on the internet nowadays with film with video and film but it just it seemed way too amateurish for a professional is that is that too mean to say I, I just wasn't feeling it I mean there were, there were some like nice twists in there and maybe that's why I got three stars there's nice twists for me there were some good jump scares even though, like, I knew, yes, they are predictable, Mike. He didn't, he didn't get scared, but it's just, I get scared easily. But it's not the greatest. If you have seen it, please share your experience and what you thought of the film. If you haven't, I don't recommend seeing this film. If you want to, go for it. And please share your input and what you thought about it. It just, it wasn't, it's not worth it. <laughs> it came out last year, but I remember like the hype about it and a lot of people saying how awesome it is and everything. But it's really not that awesome. They lied. <laughs> it's not like that. Anyway, that's, that's my little, little thing for today. Um, we're not doing much today. I don't feel up to it. I kind of want to go to the dog park. Mike doesn't feel like doing that. So I might go on a run instead. Since I have my first 4.5 miles with my phase one training app, I should say. It's my first time going that far and I'm going to try to make myself go at the pace they tell me to. I've been having some pain a little bit, like shin splints, and now my right calf, well, yesterday, it kind of hurt really bad when I squatted a little bit, especially when I'm trying to pick up that turtle. <laughs> I'm still going to push myself, not to the point of hurting myself. I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch out for that, and if it hurts too much, I'm going to walk, but I, I like how it starts out slow and because before i was starting my runs fast because i wanted to have a great first mile and then i ended up slowing way down by the end of my run so 
this way this training really allows you to start slow and build up your speed until you get to the end um, and then phase two what when I get to it is gonna be about getting faster so I'm I'm excited about that do you want to say anything so it's not Skyrim it's Elder Scrolls Yeah. About that. You're making fun of me. <laughs> you guys wish it was cool as I Okay, so I've been putting off and putting off my run later and later today. I just told I don't want to go outside. It's like chilly and windy and not so good outside. Except the sun is out. See? The sun is out. I'm just not feeling it. I can't keep putting it off. I gotta go. I, I need to go out running. I wish Mike was going with me. But he's lazy. Right, Mike? Yeah, I don't want to go. Help me. You don't care. He doesn't care. Alright. Wish me luck. And I'm back. I'm back, Mike. Mike. <laughs> if you learn how to say my name, that'd be grateful. <laughs> I honestly don't feel out of breath because I ran so slow. I jumped, mm -hmm. which I'm supposed to do. But I honestly feel like I kind of want to keep going, except I underestimated the time it was gonna take. All I kept thinking about was like watching the time and I better be home before Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. which is on like five minutes. I took a different route than I normally do because I normally I want to do like the same loop just because I know when the mile is roughly when I go and this time I just like did different a different thing here and there because I thought it wouldn't be easier jogging but it wasn't it felt like it took even longer oh and when I got home like around the porch, I came inside and Mike made me a smoothie. It has orange juice in it and everything. He likes to add water to his smoothies, which for some reason, water, I don't like water in smoothies too much. I like having that orange juice because it just, it adds a different flavor to it and I, it just tastes so good. Time to watch Game of Thrones. Let's see what happened. What happened last week? I don't even remember. We're gonna have to refresh our brains. All right, <laughs> later. Went to a car show. It was pretty fantastic, right, Mike? Mike liked it. I enjoyed seeing old, old cars, and I really like the old trucks. It, it just looks really.